So, it is Friday, guys, and it is another week of news, rumors, and headlines in the world of World Wrestling Entertainment. Of course, you know who this is. This is your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah here with you. Your personification of excellence when it comes to wrestling talk here on YouTube.com. And we're going to start it off here uh, with some news on Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, several legends played a role last weekend at WrestleMania 40, night two. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. We all know about that. But one star who was absent was reportedly supposed to be in this bout originally. So according to Dane Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Stone Cold Steve Austin was uh, penciled in for the match. But he ultimately wasn't used since the two sides could not come to terms on a financial agreement. That led to The Undertaker replacing Austin, which still received a huge pop in Philadelphia. I was one of them, you know, being part of the press box and seeing that live, which is awesome. I popped last week. We know that John Cena was in the match. He had some beef with Solo Sequoia. The Rock, who had some beef with John Cena in the past. Remember, they had two matches at WrestleMania. WrestleMania 28 and 29. The Rock uh, took out John Cena with the Rock bottom. And then the lights went off. You heard the bells of The Undertaker, the gong. And it was The Undertaker that was inside of that ring in his yard. The original final boss. He takes out The Rock with the choke slam. And you know, the rest is history. And given the fact that Steve Austin and The Rock had one of the biggest rivalries in the history of pro wrestling, and they faced each other three times at WrestleMania. Stone Cold Steve Austin took two of those matches. WrestleMania 15 and WrestleMania 17. He did lose to The Rock at WrestleMania 19. And there is little doubt that the Texas Rattlesnake would have been the perfect choice to give The Rock the Stone Cold Stunner. But still, Taker was a sensible option because of the fact that Roman Reigns was one of the only two guys to ever beat him at WrestleMania. And there could be other opportunities for Stone Cold Steve Austin to get involved because, hey, The Rock, he's going to be around for the long haul. The Rock's going to come back. We've talked about that throughout the week. When is the next time we're going to be seeing The Rock? The Rock is also part of TKO's board of directors. But we know it's possible that a perfect scenario where legends are going to get involved at WrestleMania will never happen again. Especially what we saw this past weekend. I don't want to talk about um, The Rock versus Cody Rhodes because we've already talked about that. Um... Throughout the week. We have done videos on that. So. We will. Uh, skip on some news bits on that. Also. Let's talk about Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Because. They were not lucky. At Wrestlemania. And now. The report is that they're going to be taking some time away from WWE. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Becky Lynch. Opened night one of WrestleMania. Against Rhea Ripley. We know that Rhea Ripley won the match. And then Seth Rollins. He 
He teamed with Cody Rhodes in a losing effort against Roman Reigns and The Rock to main event night one. And then he opened up night two of WrestleMania where he lost to Drew McIntyre. The thing with this is that Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, they have a daughter together. And while they often travel with the daughter, they have the opportunity to spend time with their daughter at home. And taking time off, that's also going to allow Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch to make a decision on their next step in professional wrestling. Uh, Fightful Select, Sean Ross Sapp, reported that Rollins and Lynch are both scheduled to have their WWE contracts expire in June. And given their standing in WWE as top stars, I, I, I don't want to hear this narrative here that, um, oh yeah, uh, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, they're not going to come back to WWE. They're going to go to AEW. Why would you go to AEW after what AEW did last, uh, this past Wednesday? With the whole CM Punk thing. Everybody in the community is so pissed off about that. We did a lot of videos on that. Hell, I went on a rant this week. Because of that. They're going to stay with WWE. They need the rest. I, I talked about it. Seth Rollins and CM Punk. Next year. WrestleMania 41. That match has to happen. It should have happened this year. But hey. CM Punk. Had the tricep injury. It is what it is. Becky Lynch. She has a book tour. Becky Lynch will be back in WWE television. So that's really what I'm going to have to say for this week when it comes to your news, rumors, and headlines in the sport of professional wrestling. Let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm out, guys. Peace.